Hey guys, Suze so here. So welcome to a brand new um, music albums review. So this time I am reviewing Britney Spears' Britney album. And this was released on the um, 2nd of November 2001. And um, the time for this album is around 39 minutes to around 40 minutes. So that's how long it takes for you to listen to this album. It's really nice, really easy, simple. I'm recording this on a Sunday, which is a great start to my week. And of course, I'll put the date when this was reviewed, of course. So shall we get to the tracks? Absolutely. So track one. I'm a slave for you is one of the best um, tracks off of the, this album. I see myself covering this, no doubt about it. Um, I love the beat of a song. You can dance and sing along to the um, entire song with. It's the best song for a music video and a fitness video. So keep an eye out. I may be doing a fitness video of it. Um, and it's a great way to start her album off. So pretty cool so track two over protective so um from the get-go the beat is incredible you get so in the zone of the song it's pretty cool um i i also see myself covering the song and it's pretty awesome so track three which is lonely so um the music of the song is pretty cool see myself covering absolutely i really like the beat and also the vocals, it's just incredible. And I really like the guitar part of the song as well. And it's pretty awesome to be very honest with you. So track four, which is I'm Not A Girl, Not Yet A Woman. So I remember when the song came out. Um, and I think the song is very relatable to anyone. Um, I don't see myself covering it though. But it's a pretty good song to listen to and it's a massive throwback to the 90s and um this song was also inspired by um a movie that britney was in so i will also chuck that in for you guys i'm not gonna go look it up but um i recommend you going seeing it because i have never saw the movie before so i may look at it if it comes on netflix absolutely so track five which is boys so I really do like this song because the beat is on point. I love the um the vocals because they get so seductive. I see myself doing a music video with the song and, and a possible fitness one as well. Um, I think anyone could relate to the song, Go Brit. And I could see myself really covering the song too. So track five, boys. So let's go to track six now. Um... I don't think I can pronounce this name, so I'm just going to have a go. If not, I'm just going to chuck the photo art up. It's just so much more easy and simpler, but I'm going to have a try. It's um, anti-collecting. And it failed. All good. Having a try is all good. So, um, this song has a really nice um, beat to the song. I really like the vocals in the song, and overall, it's a pretty cool song. That's all I had to say on that one because I cannot pronounce it for crap. But it's all good. So track seven, I love rock and roll now. This is an amazing cover of um, I Love Rock and Roll. And it's it's in Britney's version, of course. And it's just incredible. Um, I think this did came out as a single off of this album. And I can't be bothered going to look, at, look it up. I think it is. I think it's not. I don't know. And it's all good. I really like the song. Not only because of her vocals, but it's pretty incredibly realistic because she really loves her music and how she evolved over the years is incredible. And it's pretty a rocking song too as well. And I have to admit, it it is. Sorry, I just need to take off my jacket. A little bit too hot in my room. <laughs> Trust me, my room gets the most hottest in the house and it's annoying. So... Anyways, track eight, Cinderella. Now, this is one of my most favorite songs off of the album to date because I love the um, beat of the music. I love the uh, lyrics. They're incredible. The music is definitely on point. You can do a music video, a singing video with this as well. And I do see myself covering the song, but I don't know when, though. So this is one of my top um, musics that I love to cover. So, track nine, Let Me Be Me, is a pretty cool song. I love the beat of the music. It, it was pretty cool. Um, it, 
I kind of dance to it though. I'm literally just listening to it while I'm on my PS4, just doing some stuff on there. And I just see myself a little bit of a jig. And also, I see myself covering the song as well. So, keep an eye out for my channel and hopefully new covers will be up soon. So, let's get to track 10, which is Botanic Love. It's a really great song. I really like the vocals and the music. And I think it's a pretty cool song. That's all I have to say about this song. So, we're nearly finished. Awesome. So, track 11 that's where you take me so i like the um beat of song the vocals are pretty cool i like the music in the song because this has that feeling as well um i could see myself covering the song too hmm, cool last track which is um track 12 um what it's like to be me now from the get-go on the song the beat of the music is incredible i love the vocals and the music is incredible um the perfect song to end this album on which is an amazing one and i see myself covering the song and good on you bro you have done an incredible a new incredible album so what do i say for an overview of this entire album well i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten because um it's another great album it's incredible and that's all I have to say for this album, guys. So I'll see you very soon for a new album. And anyway, catch you all then.